This video is aimed to give a top level insight into the role of the flash controller. So let's dive in. Like the NAND flash memory discussed in the first training video, the flash controller is the second essential component making up any given NAND flash based storage device. It's often called the brains of the device as its quality and capabilities heavily impact the overall behavior and reliability of a system, module or card. The role of the flash controller is to ensure data received from a host is reliably sent to the NAND flash memory and can be efficiently retrieved later. It does this through a range of features and processes. To understand the flash controller, one must understand how the data travels through it. First, the host interface of the controller must accept the user data sent by the host system and then passes it on to the flash interface within the controller. From here, data is transferred onto the flash memory. When data is later recalled by the host, the data similarly must pass through these interfaces within the controller before returning to the host. When transferring user data onto the flash memory, the controller adds additional overhead data to the user data. This additional data comprises of parity bits for error correction coding and mapping data, which allows it to be found again later. The controller then gets feedback from the flash memory when the data was successfully stored. When the host requests the user data again, the controller retrieves it using the mapping data and checks that there are no bit errors using the parity bits it added earlier. If there is an error, the error correction coding unit on the controller will not only identify it, but correct it before transferring it back to the host. Error correction coding is arguably one of the most important flash controller features. And as the more affordable higher density flashes are more prone to bit errors, as explained in the last video, the demands on these error correction units within the flash controller are growing. Another important flash controller feature is wear leveling. Wear leveling is a maintenance management firmware feature that is carried out in the background of a storage device, prolonging its life expectancy. Without going into too much detail, Blocks are the smallest entity that can be erased on a flash memory, and all flashes have limits as to how many program erase cycles they can handle. Once this limit is reached for any one of the blocks on the flash, data can no longer be stored there reliably. Wear leveling spreads out the wear and tear of these program erase cycles by monitoring the program count of individual pages. When it notices uneven usage, it moves user data around to even out the program erase cycle limit and make the storage system last longer. Ultimately, the flash controller has a direct impact on data integrity as it corrects code errors. Its wear leveling feature impacts the endurance of a device and determines how long one can use a given module within a larger application. Furthermore, a controller influences the overall cost of a system through its qualification breadth. If a controller supports newer flashes, this can greatly impact the price of the overall module. Performance and speed are mostly dependent on the host interface and flash technology. That is why it's so important for companies like Swissbit who develop these storage modules to find the balance between cost, lifetime, endurance and performance. A well-chosen controller impacts system lifetime through market availability, fewer requalifications, and convenient logistics. So who manufactures these controllers? There are a number of controller vendors on the market and each company has a different roadmap geared towards different interfaces and market demands. Swissbit works closely with their in-house microcontroller unit Hyperstone and Silicon Motion. Hyperstone controllers are designed specifically for industrially embedded and secure storage solutions. However, the biggest advantage of having an in-house microcontroller unit is the internal expertise Swissbit has gained, which directly impacts hardware qualification, reliability reports, firmware updates, as well as qualifying controllers for specific flashes. Hyperstone controllers are critical in Swissbit security products and enable us to implement secure functionality quickly and respond efficiently to the demands of the market. To learn more, get in touch with our global sales team and subscribe to be notified for future videos.